I'm the garden manager. I've been here three years. What I do here is grow as much of the produce as, as I can for the kitchen. We don't have very much space, so what we grow here mostly is edible flowers, herbs, specialty greens, and things that you can't find in the local markets but that grow well here. I don't try to grow um, onions or beets or lettuces for the most part. These are things that other farmers can grow more cheaply and better than I can in the quantities that the restaurant needs. So what we do here is specialty, mm -hmm. basically. Now we have oregano, thyme, mint, chervil. We can't really do too many tomatoes. We can't do cucumbers. I do a few tomatoes. I do summer squash. Basil we'll have in a couple months. In the winter, it's mostly greens, kale, chard, spinach, radishes. I pick whatever is available. I take it into the kitchen, I wash it, and I present it to Chris and say, this is what you have for the week. Have fun. It's most exciting because it offers the restaurant a way to have a closed loop system with our waste. Um, almost all of our kitchen waste goes back into the garden, into the chicken coop for the chickens or into the compost and that feeds the vegetables that go into the kitchen. We don't have much more trash than a normal house as a business and that is super exciting and it um, it's very sustainable to have the, the chickens here, especially they're also creating manure that goes into the compost for the vegetables and they're providing us with eggs and they're just so fun for people to look. <laughs>